We're drier right now than we were last year. There's a familiar wind blowing its way through Colorado's eastern plains. It can change within an hour. The sort of wind that'll make the driest field shiver. Within minutes sometimes. It serves as a reminder of what could happen. Well, it takes quite a while to figure out where all those go. And what has happened. <laughs> oh, I tell you, it was a bad deal. Any way you look at it, it was bad. We first met Florence Pletcher last March. I'll tell you, if he would have been here and seen what, he just would have passed out. It would have just killed him. It would have just killed him to have seen him. The home she and her husband George had lived in for more than 70 years was swallowed up by the heartstrung fire. We spent a lifetime there working and fixing the place up and everything. But that was... That was our home. The heavy flames chewed and choked up most of it. George liked to be there because he played the guitar and he'd go in the living room and sit down and play his guitar a lot. And his guitar to him went up and smoke. And what it didn't swallow, it spit out. I had the clothes that I had on my back and that was it. Everything else went up in smoke. That was then. Well, if that wind hadn't Did been blowing so hard. This is now. I reckon them put quite a bit of them together. With her husband having passed three years ago, Florence now lives alone in a home donated by her granddaughter. She's 95 years old. It's lonely without anybody but just me here. One year ago, everything changed in a moment's time. And, of course, we couldn't do anything to her saving any of them. And everything she owned and knew was gone with the wind. It was terrible, terrible, heartbreaking. In Yuma, with photojournalist Kevin Sullivan, this is Kevin Torres, 9 News.